Welcome at this next section, reverse engineering slash debugging with Frida. So what is Frida? Frida is an open source tool with a lot of functionalities, but basically it is a dynamic instrumentation tool. So you can call it a debugging tool or reverse engineering tool, but what it does, it can hook, trace and intercept functions. So it can hook to a program, a specific in our case, of course, we want to hook to an Android application running on a mobile device. And then, for example, you can trace every function call or specific function calls and intercept functions. And also you can manipulate the process flow. So you can intercept a specific function if you know it based on the source code. And then you can also manipulate the flow and give a different result while you're running the application. So of course you intercept it, you tamper with it, and then you resume the function. But all this you can do automatically by for example, creating a script in the, via the JavaScript API in Frida. Because Frida has a JavaScript API, which makes it easy to use the Frida functions. And next to this, you can also create a Python or Node.js script and via that script, you can call the JavaScript API from Frida and then do something with the output. So if you want to automate your complete process flow, this might be handy. And the last thing is Frida also has gadgets, but we will not cover this into detail. And the official website of Frida is frida.re and also learnfrida.info is a very useful website. So let's take a quick look at the official website. So Frida is a dynamic instrumentation toolkit for developers, reverse engineers, and security researchers. It is scriptable because you can use the API to create scripts. It is portable for all operating systems. It is an open source tool, and it is one of the most common used tools for reverse engineering on mobile device. So the docs also very important will give you a lot of useful information about Frida. So how to install it and specific tutorials for Android and also for iOS. So the setup for Android is short, the different modules to do a quick smoke test, but we will cover this in the next topics. And also this learnfrida.io website has some additional information. So if we look into the internals of Frida, Frida has an interceptor module to intercept function calls, modify behavior, and even replace functions. It has an Objective-C module to interact with Objective-C methods if you use native code instead of the Java code. It has a stalker module which can be used to trace functions. And for Android, very important, the Java module. So you can manipulate Java calls or Kotlin, uh, Kotlin functions. So this Java script API we can use refers to the different modules. So let's see for the instrumentation part. It has the same four topics, the interceptor, the stalker, the objective C, and Java. So if we go into Java, then it has useful documentation if you want to use this Java module. So one of the simp functions, for example, you can use is java.android version which will return the Android version and also enumerate and a lot of other options. But during the labs and the next section, we will go a little bit more into details. But for now, this is the most important to know about Frida. Those four different modules, the Java module is for us the most important during the training. And of course, if you want more details, please go to the official documentation.